what is employer branding? At the core of what we do at Daggerfin is employer branding. It's one of our four pillars, one of our four main practices that include employer branding, monolithic marketing, a digital alignment, and growth strategies. And the reason why we do employer branding is because of our history uh, in the HR and the executive search and the recruitment space and how we can combine that with our marketing expertise. And with that knowledge of what is really happening in the job markets, what is really happening when it comes to talent attraction at the corporate level, what job seekers are looking for, we can tie all this together with a marketing perspective to make sure that companies have uh, everything that they need in terms of insights, tactics, strategies to be as attractive as they can be to their target demographic when it comes to the workers that they want. And so what is employer branding? Employer branding at its most basic is really all the touch points, all the brand codes that go into what makes an employer a great place to work. And it starts with knowing as an employer what your employer value proposition is, of course. So who are you as an employer? What do you bring to the marketplace? What is your differentiating factor? And who are you trying to attract to your organization? And once you have a, a very clear idea of, of your uh, EVP, your employer value proposition, you can then start to build out what is a, a, an employer branding infrastructure that, that takes into account you know, the job descriptions that your organization writes and puts out into the public, your entire job application portal, what candidates perceive on social media, media coverage, um, you know, through candidate surveys, employee surveys, you can get information like this. What does your in interview process look like? And is it consistent to your EVP? You know, the, the perception is, is everything when it comes to employer brand. And so understanding what the marketplace perceives your company as in terms of a hiring organization is, is one of the key pillars or key bits of information that you want to, you want to access when it comes to your employer brand. And a lot of the times people think of employer brand really just as, as kind of a social media play. You know, the, let's put as much content as we can about who we are. Uh, let's throw up a couple of videos that interview a couple of our staff members to tell people what it's like to work here. And, and those are great tactics uh, in terms of establishing, you know, the, the, the foundations of what your employer brand is. But to really get uh, a great employer brand and a great employee and candidate experience, you've really got to dive into every touch point that a candidate and an employee has. Uh, with regard to the, uh, you know employment at your organization, and so you've got to dive into things like post interview follow up. You know what what does uh, your selection criteria look like? What does your job offer look like? You know the, all the way from kind of the emails that you're sending out. These all impact and contribute to what the perception is of your company's employer brand. And these are areas that I feel like organizations can typically forget you know that these are these you know everybody's busy of course hr is busy marketing is busy and uh, it's easy to forget that you know the wrong perception when it comes to email or the, the wrong person sitting in front of a, a candidate in the interview process can really destroy a lot of the work that you put into the perception around being a great place to work so all of these things need to be factored into your employer brand and when you're deciding that okay we as an organization we want to go and pursue becoming the best place to work in our industry, you know, these are areas that you've got to consider. And then you can add a layer of quant quantitative uh, analysis on top to where you can, you know, really you should be looking at things like uh, how competitive your compensation packages are because that impacts perception of your organization. What is your cost per hire? What is your time to hire? Um, how consistent is your EVP across all the different touch points? How competitive is your organization from a talent standpoint within your industry? All these things need to be measured uh, when you're thinking of a great employer branding stack or a great employer branding infrastructure at your organization. And, you know, we can go on and on about different uh, quantitative and, and qualitative pieces of information that are great to, great to have. But knowing these, you know, KPIs and then also laying, layering it on top of what you need to touch on in terms of uh, knowing exactly how candidates and employee perceive your experience or, or complete, uh, perceive the hiring experience at your organization is really what employer branding is all about. And that's really one of the, the reasons why companies bring us in as, as Daggerfin to, to take a look at all these different things because it's a lot to, to wrap your head around uh, when you think about, okay, you know, the talent shortage at the moment, if you think about the labor shortage and how do you close that gap between 
knowing who you want to attract your organization, knowing who you don't want to attract your organization, and then making those people actually come in through your doors. So employer branding, I think, is, is a really fascinating space to, to be working in. It's a fascinating area f- that I think companies can really derive a, a competitive advantage uh, when it comes to their market positioning. Uh, and so it's it's an area that is growing. And uh, if your organization is, is of course, interested, uh, feel free to reach out to us at Daggerfin because uh, uh, we'd be happy to send over a, uh, a complimentary employer branding credit score uh, sheet that we do. It basically looks at your organization at a very high level across 17 data, po- uh, 17 data points and the five employer brand pillars that we, th- we feel are crucial in understanding where your current state is. Uh, just before you kind of dive into the nitty gritty of actually getting your employer brand where you want it to be such that you can start to attract the workers that you want to attract in a more sustainable way. A lot of the times, um, you know, I, our, our background, of course, is in marketing, in, in uh, re- recruiting and HR. And we find that organizations can sometimes want to fill a gap quickly. And that's definitely important. But with employer branding, what you're investing in is a more sustainable solution over the long term to where you don't have to, you know, pay 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars for for one hire. You can start to cut away at that that cost over time. Bring your cost per hire down, your time to hire time to hire down. Um, through different sustainable mechanisms to where people that you want to attract come to you versus you having to go to the market to get them.